do not do trading unless you are willing to lose money and know what you are doing. But is trading 2 on 2 even safe? Well that's exactly what we're going to look for in this video. Let's get to it. I fight to live, I fight to strive, one day I'll have what I want in life. So yep, you can you keep keep looking at this all day long, <laughs> you really can, margins, valuations, all that, I'll go through that in another video though. So we'll go through a few more things and then that should be train 2 on 2 covered mostly. So if we click on 3M just randomly, top right you'll see a little bell and that's what you will do for price alerts. So price alerts are good when you do your calculation, go, oh, this stock's overvalued, I want it at, so what's it, trading at 166? Say you wanted to trade at, let's find like a support line. This is kind of, at the moment we've got a support line of around, yeah, we'll call that one a support line, come on, 167, no, yeah. 167 is around a support line, so it's just dropped a little bit low in a minute, but it was up at 177. So if you calculate and you're like, oh, I want to get it down there, you click there, and then 167. And again, but we'd have to do it lower, so 155, whatever. And then that will show you how much it needs to drop by, and then that will be your price alert set. And then they'll send you a notification when that is reached you can also set a buy order so if you click on buy you can change the from value to number of shares so if you wanted one share it's going to cost you 121 quid but you can do fractional shares so you put five pound in 0.04 so it's very good for that and then you put limit so limit it will set the maximum price you are willing to pay per share and then you can do end of day or GTC stands for good till cancelled so I normally leave it on GTC I don't really do this anymore because um, my strategy is just how it is but and I'm not working with really big money at the minutes so I'm not too worried about that again I'll talk more about that in my strategy video um, stop it will set the price above the current price that converts your order to a market order. The market order will then sell it. Um, no buyer at that price. So these ones aren't too... Yeah, not not really. I guess you can use these if you're coming out of a big drop like we did in March. Then maybe you could use this. But really you want to be just buying in a dip to be honest. So I'm not really too sure about that one for me. Um, and then stop limit again. I don't use stop limit to for buying. I have used it for selling. I can go over that in a minute. So again, I can go over this in more detail. I'm just giving you a quick little look at what they have to offer. And again, just there's a video on trading 212 that will explain these in better detail. Um, and then we can go... When it comes to selling this, I'd have to go into my pie. Once it's moved to the pie, it won't show you the sell option anymore. What well, if it's on your pie? So I'll have to just research. No, we can we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> I'll make it happen. So pie pie pie. There we go. Holdings. We can go into the invest account and do that. Actually, it'll be much easier invest account so if you're worried about how trading 212 makes money because it is commission free um, they are making money now which wasn't broadcasted as widely as I hoped because that's like the main thing they everyone was scared because like how does a company stay alive if they're not making money but they are making money now they mostly make it through the invest and CFDs not the ISA because it doesn't get taxed or anything like that because um, there's no commission fees either but basically how they make money is when you do the leveraging side of things in ETF 
just the way the system works you don't actually lose any money but the way it moves between the banks trains you on to gains a little bit of like froth off the top kind of thing so they do make money so anyway back to what I was trying to say with the selling part so if we click into Moderna because <laughs> if I actually do this then it was my worst stock anyway as you can see I bought in right there that's called FOMO don't do that fear of missing out so you'll see me and my invest journey as I go along learning I can work it on a spreadsheet right now but we can get into that later so go into sell and then this is when you sell a stop limit so a number of shares and then set a price below the current price and converts your order to a limit order so if you're like fearful and you want to keep some of your profits and you're like predicting a big drop say it neo shut up but you know the value of neo should only be something then you could put one of these in to then lock in any profits or just your initial investment and then one of these will do that i did it with neo and i secured 50 quid from it and then i also put another one on which i weren't meant to do and then that screwed it a bit but we're still all right so when it comes to selling stop limits can be very useful if you click the three lines on the bottom right that will then take you to sort of a settings page um, you can find the pi library there where everyone has uploaded a different pi and then it will show you the top pies you can click new pies dividend pies so this is kind of my kind of scene but again I don't recommend going into pies too much just don't invest in companies you don't know that's just the rule and if you just do a pie what do you know nothing I guess it's similar though that, that people buy ETFs like top 500 companies you can find those 500 companies though but no one really researches them so again it's not the best I probably should take my own advice and take out a bit more off of that I'm just gonna keep it for a year and see how it goes I probably will end up changing it though so anyway that's the pie library you can find everything there get free shares this is if you lose my link this is how it is my link is here that'll be in the description of the video uh, manage funds this is a good place this is where you can move funds so when I move from invest to ISA you just click move funds um, you can click the two arrows in the middle to switch that around from invest account to ISA and that's what I did to do that then you can withdraw funds and deposit schedule if it's on auto invest it'll do it for you um, videos they're the good parts they'll show you all about trading 212 and how to use it in depth I really recommend using them and then it will show you the hot list of stocks and how they're ranked but again these are just people's opinion on the stock and there's some good stocks in here some I don't particularly with Rolls-Royce Holdings people think that is actually Rolls-Royce it's not that's that is the military <laughs> they make all the engines for the military and stuff like that the actual Rolls-Royce is by a different company so people need to be aware of that which I don't think they are Square is an upcoming one AstraZeneca in my portfolio AT&T in my portfolio Barclays I'm kind of predicting a bit of a change with banks so I'm not too into banking but that'll be for the really long term future and that'll show you economic calendar some important dates I'm not too worried about them for myself and then price alerts as you can see I've set quite a few price alerts <laughs> very good to have and then history shows you everything that you've had so these are I've got 59 pence from dividends I know I'm balling right but yeah that's how it is just that wasn't a dividend portfolio at the time so this year we should see some good good growth and then it shows you transfers and then it shows you notifications so this is when it will tell you about price alert reached Dominion Energy but 
I'm not a fan of Dominion Energy anymore. Well, it's not really I'm not a fan of them, I just don't understand it, so that's <laughs> got to stick to my own rules, right? And then, got settings, you can change all that. And then, just a bit more at the bottom. The share dealing service will tell you how they make a bit more money and all that about that. Community form, good place to go. And, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Trading 212. So, as a summary, do I recommend Trading 212 for beginners? Yes. Um, why is that? Because it's zero commission. Um, if you put it into the ISA account and then deposit 20k a year, or up to 20k a year, you can do that every year. And then it will be tax free, even your gains. Um, the invest account does get taxed, uh, but you can you deposit as much money into that as you want. Do I recommend CFDs for beginners? Absolutely not. <laughs> Just do a lot of research on the CFDs if you want to go into that route. There can be a lot of money made, and that's why it's alluring because you can use leverage. So you can, and you can actually, and you can sort of put down money that you don't actually own into CFDs, kind of, um, with the leveraging. So you're just betting. As you can see on the screen now, this trading platform is registered and it's backed by all the correct authorities as you can see on screen so there's no dodgy business going on with this platform it's all legit they're making money now so the longevity is there now and that'll just keep growing with the amount of people they have now there is one interesting thing that I'll have to go through in a minute because of the amount of people they've now got and the amount of assets they now manage they have, and it wasn't them, it's the banks. There is a 5%, I'll have to find that and go through it in a minute. But as you, I'll just keep on this for a minute. The regulatory compliance, so it all complies. Um, you can read all this at your own leisure. You just pause the video and read if you want, or just go and look it up when you do that. Um, your assets are secured up to a certain amount if a company is found to be like dodgy or if the train 2 on 2 goes wrong your assets are covered up to quite a high amount I believe I think it's I think I want to say it was 80,000 but I'll have to check on that one and just lose more stuff it just goes on and on and on and on and on so you can read all of that at your own leisure and at about us you can read more about that there's rated UK's number one app again regulated by the FCA here we go in the likely event of a default commission is up to Great British Pounds of 85,000. So I was close. I said 80,000. Can't hold me accountable all the time. <laughs> I got to hold myself accountable. Da -da -da -da. But the limited to do class ones. Yep, so that's all you need to know there. Now, the other thing I want to show you quickly is the market times. So as you can see, it says market open right now. You can click that. And then I'll show you the trade now. So as you can see, it closes on Saturday and Sunday. The Moderna opens at 2:30 p.m. and closes on 9 p.m. Um, if you also, I'm on mobile. If you rotate your screen, then it comes up with a different type of graph, and then you can start looking at different lines, uh, simple moving averages. You can change all of this. Can't say I use them. I think these are more trading things as well. This is when you want to find like the trend lines and all that kind of gump. But again, stick with what you know. If it works, it works. Do your research, invest, learn. The biggest mistake you can do is not invest. Just if you're not confident, use an ETF, the Vanguard, S&P 500. That'll keep you well diversified. 
and keep your risk level lower. When it comes to depositing funds into your Train 2 on 2 account, if you decide to do it manually, um, if you do it by instant bank transfer or bank transfer, then it is free as it says. They added, well, the banks added a charge if you do it by um, card, so it's like a processing fee. And then, as you see at the bottom, it says the following payment methods are free until you deposit 2000 total. A 0.7 fee is applied thereafter. Still, one of the smallest fees you'll find on any brokerage. Um, if you use like a a person who do, 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 what are they called. If you go for a fund manager, they'll take a lot more anyway. So still a good deal. I just just use the instant bank transfer. It's been working good for me. Um, they train two and two will send you monthly statements um, about all your assets if you don't check them regularly. And I believe that is really all you need to know. You can click on the allocation and it'll show you in percentages what they own. So the whole goal of this video was to find out is Trading212 a good platform and is it right for you? And we've come to the conclusion that overall, yes, as it's easy to use, zero commissions, all things have stated before, again do your own research make your own mind up so now we'll head off of the app back onto the camera and we'll close the video expect next week's video to be my investing strategy and why i picked the way i did and then following that will be whatever it'll either be what you want what you put in the comments or on my Instagram or it will be a stock breakdown of one of my picks. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Make sure to use my links in the description for Train212. Go check out my Instagram, uh, my merch, more designs of better designs coming soon. You'll probably have to just scroll down a bit on my page to find some of the better designs. Some of the styling ones were a bit sketchy I know. So yep, check all them links out. Um, hope you found this video helpful, comment down below any recommendations or what you want me to do next, and I hope you have a great day, see you later. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.